In this series of videos, we'll be using SolidWorks to draw a storage shed. Um, we'll be drawing the foundation and the walls. This is Goal Driven Training with your host, Ked Ben. Okay, let's get started here. Uh, we're going to go to a new SolidWorks document and we're going to make a part. And we're going to start out by setting the um, units so that we can use feet and inches. And we'll get started here. We'll do a 10 by 20 um, and revise as necessary. I'm not going to narrate a lot of this because I'm assuming that you either know what you're doing or you can just, if you don't know what you're doing, you can follow along and you'll get the hang of it as you as you work concurrently so what we've done here is establish the size of our storage shed and we're gonna go ahead and extrude it and I like to make the floor surface um, basically um, in line with the top plane so we're gonna reverse the direction of the extrusion I'm gonna go with a six inch pour Viola. Uh, I like to take the time to not only color all of the entities in my model, um, but also give them textures. It may not be near as important to you. It just helps me with um, visualization. So do as you please. I'll probably get a lot of flack for making this a uh, multi-bodied part instead of a assembly and again that's that's just fine if you um, if you want to make it a assembly you're more than welcome I on the other hand will be doing it this way So here I'm going to do, I could do it individually, but I'm going to do the um, bottom plate as a um, single piece because it really won't affect, um, it really won't affect any of the overall um, drawings. So we're going to make it one part. And since I've got this thing, it's my display is normally at um, 1200 by, I don't know, no, 1600 by 1200. But because I've noticed that a lot of the videos on YouTube are such poor quality that I thought I would produce it at the same resolution or near the same resolution that it'll go on YouTube. Hopefully it'll make it a little a little bit more clear, maybe a little bit more clarity and less less graininess. Again, I'll I'll probably also get a bunch of flack from some of the mechanical users out there. I know that SolidWorks is not commonly used for architecture. My question would be why not? Um, I know that a lot of you would probably recommend um, one of AutoCAD's parametric programs, not not AutoCAD itself, but one of the Autodesk products. I happen to like SolidWorks, so I thought, why not use it for architecture? I think it would, I think it would and will be a great choice. 
So um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this up so that um, I can get my double top plate. And I'm trying to think of what height I want the walls to be. So what we're going to do is I want to go with 10 foot walls, but I also want it to hang down below the foundation uh, approximately a half of an inch. So I'm going to go two inches less than 10 feet. And that's going to be in the Y direction. So I'm going to go nine feet. Um, oops. 10 inches, and I'm going to go out and check that, and I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to repeat that, and this time I'm just going to copy it, it's a double top plate, so I'm going to copy it from, from here to here, and pick OK, and I'm going to color both of these bodies. going to make them white and we're going to do the same thing and make them wood and now I'm going to go ahead and do all this the studs on layout so I usually make the long walls run past. So I'll go ahead and draw a 2x4 and dimension it and turn it into a block. And we'll go up here and turn blocks on just long enough to make that into a block. And we'll make the insertion point right there. And I try to give my blocks something descriptive. So, oops, I'll try that again. Okay, and we're going to place that happy little guy right there. And we're going to make it so it won't spin around. And I'll do a control C and a control V and I will constrain it real quick and we'll make that a horizontal and we'll put a dimension in between them from like here to there of 14.5 no what's 16 minus 3 quarters how about 15.25 